Welcome to Module 2. This module is designed as an introduction to data hiding. What specifically is data hiding? The term was coined for placing data in a directory which is apparently inaccessible for the normal user. The data is not protected by any other attack prevention method. The only security offered by data hiding is its apparent obscurity. The exact location of the data is unknown. What could go wrong? As we can easily imagine, data hiding is far from safe. Anyone who discovers the directories, either intentionally or by accident, may access hidden confidential data. We may compare data hiding to burying a treasure in your backyard. If someone knows the treasure is there, or discovers it purely by accident, they may dig it up and take it. The same may be said of web applications. If we hide data in this way, and by hiding, we simply mean the links aren't viewable or published, the information is still not safe. Data hiding is very often used in conjunction with the robots.txt file. The robots protocol prevents web robots used by search engines from accidentally indexing or categorizing data we'd like them to ignore. Here's what the file could look like. As we can see, the file contains instructions specifying which directories and their contents should be ignored by web crawlers. Unfortunately, the file is quite often used to describe locations containing confidential website data. Many website developers believe that storing such data in robots.txt will prevent them from being leaked by accident. Robots.txt is purely informative, relying on bots to cooperate and honor the instruction to not index specified directories. It is, however, not taken into account by web servers. Additionally, as you can see, any user may access the robot's file. If we put confidential information, such as data location, in robots.txt, we practically invite an attacker to try and steal them. The example shows two specified paths, which should not be accessed by web robots. The directories admin and data. A lot of potentially interesting data may be stored there. Let's see what's inside. As we can see, after we have typed in the path, a page opens. We may browse it freely. This is the essence of the data hiding process. The method doesn't give you a link to the page, but if its location becomes known, it may be accessed without trouble. It's the same for the other directory. After you type in the path, you may access all data, which in theory should remain restricted. Although this scenario may seem a bit abstract, web developers often use it purely because it is convenient for end users. If you follow news from the security branch, you may have heard, even lately, of websites which have protected critical data through the data hiding method. This has led to major leakings. Applicants' resumes being leaked from job search sites is an example of problems connected with data hiding. Another example is the American Express website, which left the access to application developers' administration panel unprotected. By and large, data hiding is not a safe attack prevention method. Remember that confidential data must be secured with an authorization scheme. Don't simply rely on robots.txt. The file does not give you a lot of security and may just become the whole through which an attacker slips in. This is all for now. Thank you for your attention and see you in Module 3, which will talk about how web applications may be affected by brute force and dictionary attacks.